think you're going first? I, I think um, we have increased um, immigration level to 280,000, uh, and, and, and we will maintain that as our strategy to uh, allow uh, these uh, foreign uh, workers to come in. We also have a, a, se a senior uh, credit for family caregiving tax credit that would ease the burden for people to stay in their homes. Now, this also has a double-sided effect in that it allows us to reduce our public health uh, costs. It allows seniors to stay home and it creates employment for those who are coming into Canada. What about daycare for young children so that uh, working parents can, can go our, to work? Our position, Concerted Government position to daycare for young children is that we give the money back to the family and let them make that decision. I don't think children should be looked after by bureaucrats. I think they should be looked after by people that are close to your culture, to your language, and so therefore I would support uh, th those daycare systems that, you know, within the community that you can uh, af afford. And, and it, is, it is for the money is in, put in the hands of the family to do as they wish. I just uh, thank you so much for the question. Mm -hmm. I, um, having raised three children, um, at one point, because there were simply no daycare spaces available for me to be attending uh, university, we had to have two children at the home of one person, one child at the home of another person. It was all private. These are not bureaucrats. With all respect, these are people who are looking after children, whether it's in a daycare, whether it's in a home. Um, I would much rather have the opportunity to have children looked after by trained people who are trained in, in providing a, a warm and, and early learning environment for children. This is, this is something that is, is so frustrating for, the, for us. As a Liberal, we had in 2005, we had um, uh, my colleague Ken Dryden had made arrangements with all of the provinces. It was all agreed to, all ready to go and the NDP and the Conservatives brought the government down. So we in fact had that opportunity. We had national daycare and early learning ready to go that would have solved these problems for so many families and then our government was brought down. Talk about unnecessary elections. Um, very, very frustrating. But we as Liberals are strongly back again saying we want a, a national early learning and daycare program working with the provinces. The idea that the Harper government has somehow uh, held when you give a hundred dollars a month to somebody that does not provide choice there is not nearly enough there to provide what is necessary from a daycare perspective and then I will add from an economic perspective this not having daycare opportunity not having an early learning environment for children prevents people who are trained people who have the very foreign credentials that we talked about before prevents them from going out into the workforce and being able to add to looking after their families and contributing to our economic prosperity we are strongly supportive of a strong daycare and early learning program and it's in our platform let me, let me say that I, I think that money daycare is something that is so ingrained to a family and to cultural necessities that I think this money is best spent by the family and, and rather than no rather than it. have a go, go for a universal child care system but that will be in, in very expensive unaffordable system but if there is mm. if there are no, no spaces if there's no place for them to go giving somebody a hundred dollars a month which does does absolutely nothing to solve the problem of lack of daycare spaces mm. and lack of places for no. children to, to oh, go on, on, and on to have an early learning environment no. to allow their parents to work no, and on top so of that we also have a family income um, system where the family is allowed to split their income. The Conservative government proposes that when we go forward, the income of the family will split among the entire family member for those who are under 18. And I think this will lessen the tax burden. This will also provide them with more money to go and find affordable but, but daycare. But daycare is the <coughs> question. Daycare and opportunity to have that op to have the opportunity of daycare so that parents can go and work. Daycare is needed by far and away by single parents, and there are many, many. There are thousands of single parent families in this country. Most of them are women, so this is in fact a bigger problem for women generally. Those women won't have access to that income splitting. They will not benefit from income splitting. They are single parents. You can't split an income 
all by yourself. 80% of Canadians will not benefit from that. The people who need daycare and early learning are exactly the people who will not benefit from an income splitting program. They do not benefit from a little bit in, in, every month that does not provide choice. I fully agree with choice. If somebody is keen to stay home, to look after their children, and they have that opportunity, that's fantastic. But for the many, many thousands and thousands of families, especially single parent families, in this country who do not have that choice because they simply do not have daycare spaces available, the Harper government has been a complete failure. We, well, we had it on the table in 2005 as a Liberal government. The Conservatives and NDP brought down the government, lost that opportunity, and we will bring it back when we're elected That's as good. a Liberal I, government. At least we agreed out we will give the family their choice. I, and, I and agree, that but, choice that, but that we will respect. if there are no spaces, there is no choice. You must have access to spaces in order to have choice. You also brought up the question about caregivers. Uh, with the aging population, um, some Canadians give up their jobs to care for their loved ones at home, and they tend to be women. What would your party do to help these Our caregivers? Our party will give the, uh, a tax credit for caregivers. Well, I, I have to say, I, there was an element of the Conservative platform when it came out that had a little bit of what we as Liberals have been saying for months. I am so proud of our home care proposals and we have, it, it, we, we've been saying this for month, months, a very strong home care proposal that would not only provide extended leave from work for caregivers to look after aging parents or other ill relatives at home because we know that it's much better at home. We know that people heal better, we know that they get better, we know that they are far more comfortable and it's more cost effective to be looking after uh, uh, people at home. So extended leave for, for people to stay at home to look after relatives and aging parents but also an added credit that will be provided that is money in hand to help with the expenses of that. I, when I first ran in 2004, the home care was a big issue. I'm so pleased to see that this is a strong, strong pillar of the liberal, uh, the liberal family pack platform. It is also a strong pillar of the conservative government in that we have a family care giver tax credit which provides exactly everything that it, do, it, it does working. not it doesn't even come close to what the liberal platform is Just proposing watch. good mm -hmm. try